Over the past week, I have been focusing on character movement. You'll notice the upper body moves independent of the lower body. While the character moves, if you rotate his body too far, it'll turn into a backpedal animation. We do this by getting the difference between the angle of the player's movement and the mouse. When it moves too far, the player will flip around and show the other animation. We ran into the problem of what to do when the camera is obstructed by something like a building, which is evident when moving through alleyways. So we came up with the idea of when the camera collides with one of these buildings, it goes to a top-down perspective until the player can reach the other side and then it'll return to the original camera angle. Another thing I've been working on is the pathfinding logic for zombies. So as we'll see right here, the zombies will actually update based on my position, and it's still a little rough around the edges, but they take corners fairly easily, and will take the shortest route to get to you. The final thing I've done this week is set up the weapon system. The predator crossbow and the hunting rifle are the first two weapons to make it in the game. You'll see here when you pick up one of the weapons, the hands will update to the position. The animation is still a work in progress, but you can see that his right hand holds the trigger and his left hand holds the barrel. Now when you were to shoot something, the bullets properly decrease, shells eject from the gun, and he air reloads properly. The Predator crossbow uses bolts, and there's a much longer reload time, but if you were to shoot the bullet, or the bolt, it will stick in the wall, and then that bolt is now reacquirable. So if you were to go by, you can pick it up, and you'll see it's been added to my inventory of ammunition. If you'd like to learn more about the game, check out the website.